Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Taz. Um, I'm a delivery driver. I drive for DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, Postmates, Amazon Flex, sometimes Instant Cart. Um, I just got some questions. But as far as delivery with food services, such as DoorDash or Grubhub, is it worth it? I just bought a hat and some glasses for the summer for my market because it get hot. I want to see, I want to know, is it worth it? I just bought me a vest, a, a ten dollar vest. It cost five dollars just to pitch delivery driver, and also guy in the back as well for nights. You know, when I'm at people's doors, I want the neighbors to know exactly who I am. I know some of you guys are saying, but that sets you up for failure. When people see you, they might try to rob you. But hey, I don't have any cash on me. And if it's going to happen, it's going to happen no matter what you have on. But for my safety, going to the customer's doors walking on the yard because after that iced tea thing with Amazon Flex I went out and bought a vest it's not required but um, I gotta do what I gotta do so also bought stapler and I got this all, all the stuff I got from Dollar Tree except from the vest I bought stapler Cause when they have me bags and, and it's open and the fries is right there, when the cus when you get a customer in a bag, they be like, hey, he could have taken a fry. No, mm -mm. I'm stapling it. Is that worth it to buy a stapler? Also, I bought a Sharpie. You know, sometimes you get multiple orders. Sometimes you get multiple bags. Sometimes you gotta write stuff down. Is it worth it? Uh, just let me know in the comments. Hold on, guys. I got a seven dollar delivery, and let me. I'm trying to wait for it to load up so I can see. It's not telling me how many miles, but it's seven dollars. It's two items, and it's from Outback Steakhouse. So even if they tilt me, fifteen to twenty, twenty percent. That tip is not coming to me. It's two items. In order for that to come to me, both your items have to be $25 or more. And I don't think it's $20 or both items are $25. Look like this is seven miles. It's $7 worth seven miles. Let me know in the comments. Just let me know because normally when I get an offer for seven dollars, I'm not going no farther than four miles. This look kind of close. Let me zoom in and see what street this is on. Yeah, this is not worth seven dollars because no matter what they give me in the app, I'm not going to get that tip because it's only two items. Also, also, I bought a timer. You know, you come and hang you some time. You want to time them. You got to time some things. So, that right there, hey, worth it or not, I can use that. I can use that at the house. Look, also bought some napkins. Just in case uh, restaurants don't give you none. Like Wingstops, they don't really supply you with napkins. So, I eat Wingstops every day. Every week, every other week, or whenever they it, they give me wing stops all the time. So when I look, wing stop is greasy, it's sticky. You gotta wipe your hands. So wing stop orders, definitely, I definitely have to get them some napkins. And I just want to know, is that worth it for me to buy all this stuff? Let me see. I spent one, two, three, four, five, and I got double of everything. So. Pretty much I spent uh, 
I want to say 12 no more than $15. Um, after I spent that, I got four deliveries. So I made my money back plus some. And I just want to know, you know, is that worth it? What do you guys do? Do you guys do that? Should I be spending my energy into that? Why is Grubhub? All right, let me give you a story about, a little story about me. Um, I started off driving for Lyft. Lyft, Lyft was good, it was good. Um, I didn't have my own vehicle, so I did the rental program. Um, did that for at least six months. Start, started January as of 2018. Um, did that for six to seven months, maybe eight months. Um, something happened where I wasn't able to work for Lyft, so I gave the car back. Um, in between that, I started renting vehicles. And I started doing... Uh, I started doing Uber Eats and Postmates. So I did Uber Eats and Postmates. Remind you, I, I already signed up for Uber and Postmates a year before that. I just never did it because I didn't know, you know, what the, you know, I just didn't do it. I didn't watch no YouTube. I, I signed up. I didn't know that you can make, you know, money. Hold on, hold on, guys. I got an offer for $7 for three miles. And it's to pick up at wing stops right behind me. Um, it's 532. Deliver by 602. It's only three miles away from me. And I'm going to accept it. Seven dollars. I'm accept that. Sorry. Let me see. Pickup time is at 548. Okay, cool. That's good. So pretty much start off doing that. Um, Uber Postmates. I didn't know anything. I didn't know nothing. So when I did Uber and Postmates, I'm thinking that's the best they had out here. I signed up for DoorDash, but I never went to orientation. So Uber and Postmates, I left the app on. I had an app um, on my phone. It was switched. So anytime I get an Uber Eats order, it would turn Postmates off. And after that um, order was completed, it'll turn both apps on and vice versa. So whatever app I get the works first, it would turn the other one off and then I would deliver. So I was doing that the whole summer of 2018. I was making pretty decent money. Uh, even though I didn't have any techniques, any skills, I didn't have no whereabouts of where I was going. Uh, Postmates, it shows you an outline, but I never pay attention. Uh, Uber Eats, it glamps where you're going to go, but it don't tell you where the customer stays. So, I was just doing that all summer. And two, I started watching YouTube uh, because I've seen people with Grubhub um, bags and shirts. So, I'm like, man, that got to be nice because they in here all the time. So, I try to sign up. I didn't have any luck. Market was full. Um, so I signed up for DoorDash. Finally went. I did one order with them. It took me to a mall. It took me to a mall. I had to get out of my car, walk inside the mall, and I went to go get a. I went to get something like Jumbo Juice or someplace like that. It was a fruit juice. It was ten dollars, so it was ten dollars. It just I had to go in the mall, but I didn't like doing that, so that was my last time doing it. It was good. It, it was a good pay because it only went like four miles for ten dollars or three miles. But I didn't like that you had to go in malls and stuff. But again, I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it's where you. If I'm in that area, it's gonna take me to that mall. So now I have more knowledge of where to go, where not to go. So. Did DoorDash one time. Um, I finally, you know, start watching YouTube videos and people saying, "Keep trying to get the Grubhub." I tried again. Boom. I was. I got in. I did everything. I signed up. But what happened was, 
it asks for like registration insurance and I didn't have no registration insurance because I was driving rental cars. So I was like, man, I'm gonna have to, you know, cancel on that. So when I finally got a, um, a vehicle, I went back to the application. I put my information in there and it says, okay, your, your account is on hold. Uh, we're full. So I'm like, okay. So I waited a few weeks. Um, after that, I started watching YouTube where people was waiting months and months. And then a YouTuber told me, hey, keep trying. So I called every single number I could find. I called them like, hey, I, um, I filled out my application. Um, I was accepted. It just, what happened was I didn't have a vehicle to put insurance on, so I had to do it later. She said, yeah, we see your application here. It's in holding. I'm going to go ahead and release it. I'm going to give you this number. I want you to email this person. I emailed. He said, hey, I'm going to reset everything for you. I want you to sign up again. I signed up. I was accepted at the background check everything i thought that was my driver specialist but he wasn't it was somebody else uh he cc me with another person which is my driver specialist uh she told me to uh, come down because i got an email saying i cannot start until i get a shirt or um a bag so i'm like man why well, i gotta wait i'm ready to go now so when i got when she emailed me told me to come in i came that same day I came the same day, bam, got my stuff started. And then this will happen. That Postmates and Uber Eats, it was out the window. Why? Because Grubhub spoiled me. They showed me offers for $15, $20, $28, 10 15 and it wasn't that far. So I started doing Grubhub. And Grubhub was my bread and butter. I was still, um, you know, renting cars. Uh, Cause the car I had, it was just a temp car, but I had um, insurance. It was still good until like later on that year. So I was still doing Grubhub. And then, you know, Grubhub started changing. Grubhub started changing. And they started changing the pay model and, and the distance and and now you gotta drive like 15 miles for five dollars, six dollars, ten. Um, not that much. So I'm I'm doing grub. I'm doing uh, DoorDash right now. Uh, I just bought some stuff because on DoorDash I have to worry about ratings. Grubhub, I ain't necessarily have to worry about ratings. I don't think they have that in the system yet. They have it for if they order, you can go back and check the app, the customer app, and see what they said about you if they say anything. But as far as DoorDash, I started back doing it, um, and it's been amazing. It's been great. It's just my ratings are very, it, it was low. The reason why it's low, uh, because I was trying to multi-app, and I was doing Grubhub and DoorDash at the same time. So I will accept the order for Door, uh, DoorDash, but when Grubhub came in and said, hey, we got an order for $25, I said, oh no, DoorDash, um, I have to um, unassign, but I wasn't able to. It said, oops, it's too late. So therefore, I would have to deliver the food and the food would be late. Um, customers, you know, they don't want to lay food or cold food. Uh, so, you know, they gave me, you know, three stars or four, whatever the case was. And half time, the restaurant didn't even have it ready. Um, but that was then. Now I got my ratings up to a 493. Um, I've been, you know, texting customers, letting customers know, hey, I'm at the restaurant. Matter of fact, look like you, I have arrived. Let me go ahead and uh, let this customer know because the order's not ready for pickup until eight more minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, text the customer I'm gonna text them the same thing grub up sent uh, that you know lays out I copy it and then I got it sent to my phone so all I gotta do is put my little my little special shortcuts in it 
and it's gonna read this is your delivery driver chas I'm waiting for a restaurant I'm waiting for the restaurant to complete your order I'm going to send that uh, this wing stop is pretty fast uh, so by the time I get in there it should be ready they're, they're not really getting that much anyway let me see I don't believe so uh, two season fry or oh, a 40 pack yeah that's why it takes so long. $50. I may get like a $2 tip, $1 tip. Um, don't know. It's not that far. Not complaining. Uh, but as far as the things I, you know, got, should I get anything else? Oh, I got a flashlight. I got a flashlight for nights. At nighttime, these addresses, it's hard to see. I got a flashlight. So believe that. I think that's a good investment, a flashlight. You always need a flashlight. All right, customer said thank you. Customer always like to be informal of what's going on. So I send the customer three text messages. I let them know I'm at the restaurant waiting. And then I let them know I'm on my way. And I let them, when, I let them know when I arrive. The reason why is I don't have a lot of time to be waiting for you to put your clothes on, get out the shower, uh, call the person that you order food for I need you I need them to know then because my time is money this is seven dollar trip uh, if I do it right I could do three orders in one hour um, accepting a large company like you know like uh, Wingstop it's gonna slow down my time if I do wings uh, like if I go to Wendy's I can do three or four of those Wendy's real quick but when you stop, you know, they got to cook that chicken. They got to be fresh. But, yeah, just let me know. Um, I just want to know, is it worth it? Me, you know, uh, getting this made. Because I'm not about to be wearing uh, this DoorDash and Grubhub. I'm not about to be promoting them. They're not giving us enough money to be promoting them. I need to promote myself. So if people want to hire me for something else, you know, that's what it can be. But as far as that... Uh, I got the Grubhub bag, Georgia's bag, but I'm I'm about to order me a all black bag and pip delivery driver on it, cause I'm representing myself. Cause these companies they can deactivate you, you know, tomorrow because the customer or something. So I'm not about to represent you guys. I know you guys like them. Why are you wasting your money on ordering it? Because I can still use my bags for personal deliveries in my apartment building i can hand out business cards and say hey if you need me to you know pick some things up for you i can go get it you know it still works it says delivery driver i'm a delivery driver so that means i can do whatever i want to do i don't have to necessarily always drive for grubhub doordash but it's paying the bills right now so i mean i'm not taking it for granted because people get deactivated every day but that's why I'm trying to, you know, get new stuff. I'm trying to give the customers, you know, little wipes, napkins. I also got a, a I also got, um, I got spoons, forks, and knives with the paper towel. I got the whole package because, uh, you know, nobody wants a, a single spoon or a single fork. So I got a whole pack of that. Um, I got some mints. All that stuff I, I just put in the bag. I put it like in a little thank you bag. Had to, I'm like, hey, this is for me, uh, you know, because I'm not sure if the restaurant put everything in your bag. I'm not really allowed to look in your bag to check everything once they seal it up, once they give it to me. So I got this just in case you're missing some items. And they're like, thank you. They send me a text. Um, and, you know, sometimes they want to tip you more, but they came because they already did everything pre existing. So sometimes, you know, they go inside the house and get like an extra two or five dollars um you know i let them know hey if you're not even tip hey give me five stars is you know something you know is up there something is is it uh, give me five star is actually better than a a tip the reason why is because if you give me five stars i'm still getting money i'm still getting money i'm still gonna get the seven dollars from from Grom, from doordash you might give me two dollars but if you give me that five i'm i'm still the top my, my ratings, if the better my ratings is, it seems like the better offers I get, the more offers I get. Um, 
All right, so look, I got three more minutes. I just want to know, like, I'm not sure if I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I don't know if I should call it Delivery Driver Taz um, or Delivery Driver ENT because me and my family, we do like a, you know, we got our own little ENT thing that's going on. And ENT stands for entertainment. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to do YouTube. This is my first video. Uh, might be my last video uh, Depending on you know if I get any subscribers or any feedbacks, you know I, I'm just looking for you know, I just want to know where I can do better at. I know we independent contractors. We don't have to do any of this um, All we need to do is pick it up and deliver You know, I try to have my face uh, I got a beer so I try to have my face lined up, you know uh Try to have mints in my car, hand sanitizer, uh, something that smells good. Cause when you're handling them food, they don't want to smell your your dirty hands. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to see your dirty fingers. Uh, they don't want to smell your dirt. You know your, your nasty mouth. So you know I try to have that. Cause hygiene is good too. You gotta keep up with your um, your grooming, your hygiene, and all that. Uh, but yo, just let me know. Uh, I'm not sure if, if I will do any more. It depends if I get any subscribers, any views. Um, I'm just getting started. My name is Taz. So I'm out here in the Las Vegas market. Uh, Las Vegas. So pretty much, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, just let, let me know. This stuff I got, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Should I get my own bag with, my, with the delivery driver on there? Is it worth it? Let me know. Um, the glasses are for the sun. Because out here, when, when it get hot, the sun is... Whew, the sun is in my eyes. So this is about to come off because it's getting it's getting uh, dark out. This hat um, may come off. I just got this to keep the shade. You know, I, I got to stay cool. But uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is your boy, Delivery Driver Taz. I'm not sure if I'm going to call it that. If I do continue, let me know if you got any good names for me. Let me know. Just let me know uh, if you want to hear anything in my market or what's going on. Just you know, keep me keep me posted. I keep you posted. Uh, but if not, you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, you know, keep making that money, no matter what. Just keep making it. Do your thing. Thank you.